Hello friends, welcome to TNPC Studygram channel. In the video, la, 6th standard la rikra, the universe and solar system lesson la rikra, question answers tham paak poru. First question, which theory was responsible for the formation of numerous stars and celestial bodies? Answer is Big Bang Explosion. Next one, how are the celestial bodies together called? Universe or the cosmos? Universe or the cosmos? Next one, what is the study of universe called? So, universe is also called as cosmos. So, the study is cosmology. Next one, the term cosmos has its origin from? Answer is Greek word cosmos. Here, instead of C, we have K. Next one, when was the Big Bang explosion believed to have taken place? Answer is about 15 billion years ago. To remember this Big Bang, so big. So we have BI at the start. So years is also in billion, BI start. So 15 billion years ago to avoid confusion. Next one, the unit used to measure the distance between the celestial bodies is so also very important answer is light year next one which force is responsible for holding the huge cluster of stars in the galaxy answer is gravitational force this is the binding force next one what is light year it's also very important it is the distance traversed by light in a year at the velocity of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second or it is given in kilometer per second as 300,000 kilometers per second. Simply they will be asking uh, velocity of light also. So it is better always to remember the value in one metric measure form like either in meters or kilometers. So that if you want to uh, translate or uh, convert that we can convert to any other form. So 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Next one. What is the speed of the sound? Answer is 330 meter per second. To remember, here we have digits which are multiples of 11 again, like how we saw in Indus civilization. So, 330 meter per second, 33 is 0, 330 meter per second. Next one, when was the Milky Way galaxy formed? About 5 billion years ago. Again, uh, make sure that you are using billion, bi, okay. Next one. Our solar system is present in which galaxy? Answer is Milky Way galaxy. Next one, which galaxy is the nearest to the earth apart from the Megalonic clouds galaxy? Answer is Andromeda galaxy. So you can remember this as Andromeglanic so that you can recall that easily. Megalonic clouds, Andromeda galaxy, both are galaxies. Next one, when was the solar system believed to have formed? Answer is about 4.5 billion years ago. Next one, the word solar is derived from. Answer is Roman word sol which means sun god. So, the answer is present in the word solar itself. So, you have to split that, you will get sol. We know that solar is related to sun. So, here it has been derived from sun god. Okay. Next one, the sun, the eight planets, dwarf planets satellites, comets, asteroids and meteoroids together constitute the solar system. Next one, how much does the sun occupy in the entire mass of the solar system? Answer is 99.8 percentage. Again here to remember we have digits which are multiple of 11, so 99 followed by a digit less to 9 that is 8, so 99.8 percentage. Next one, what is the surface temperature of the sun? Answer is 6000 degree Celsius, that is 6000 sun surface temperature. You have so many starting with S, 6 sun, so 6000 degree Celsius. Next one, what is the time taken by the sunlight to reach the earth? Answer is 8.3 minutes, 8.3 minutes. Next one, what is the source of light and heat energy to the entire solar system? answer is sun. How huge is the sun? So this is a reference for us to understand and imagine the size of the sun here. The sun is so huge that 1.3 million earths fit inside it. Next one, what does the word planet mean? 
answer is the wanderer as we know the planet keeps on moving next one how many planets are there in the solar system answer is only eight don't confuse because pluto belongs to the dwarf planet next one what are the eight planets of the solar system mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune you all know this don't add pluto again which tamil literature mentions that the sun is surrounded by the planets answer is sirupanattru padai sirupanattru padai next one which two planets alone rotate in the clockwise direction which means all other six planets rotate in the anti clockwise direction so the only two planets rotating in the clockwise direction are venus and uranus you can remember this as uv okay so uv is uranus and venus anti clockwise direction is rotating in the direction from west to east so remember this that is very important question next one the elliptical path in which the planets move around the sun is called as the orbit okay next one how many inner or terrestrial planets are there so we have eight planets divide them into two first four and next four first four are inner or terrestrial planets they are mercury venus earth and mars okay next one how many jovian or outer planets are there the next four the outer four so they are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune next is outer planets are also known as gaseous giants okay next one what are the major constituents of the four inner planets inner or terrestrial planets we saw right mercury venus earth and mars what are the major constituents of them answer is rocks mountains volcanoes and craters next one the asteroid belt is found in between which two planets mars and jupiter i'll tell you something to remember this uh remember jam okay so that uh, in traffic uh, we often use traffic jam so here asteroid belt is present in which two planets mars and jupiter jam j for uh, jupiter and ma for mars okay next one that is very very important question next one which planet is the smallest and closest planet to the sun answer is mercury so remember the sequence mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune okay so the closest planet is mercury and it is also the smallest one next one from where does the name mercury has its origin so mercury has its origin from the uh, roman deity mercury which means the messenger to gods mercury for messenger mercury messenger so remember and repeat so that you can easily recall next is features of mercury planet it is airless waterless and it has no natural satellite and it can be viewed in the morning and evening with naked eye next one which is the hottest planet so answer is venus venus hottest so uh, uh, repeat it it would be easy to recall venus is the hottest planet next which planet is called as the earth's twin again very important venus is earth's twin so when you study itself study it as earth's twin venus earth's twin venus okay so it is called as earth's twin because its size is almost similar to that of the earth okay next one is which is the second planet from the sun we know it is venus next which planet has got the longest rotation period of 243 days we have the 234 uh, put up in this form as 243 for remembering purpose i am telling 243 okay so which has got the longest rotation period of 243 days again it is venus next one which planet is called as the morning star and the evening star because of its frequent visibility okay so the answer is venus next one which planet is the brightest natural object in the sky after moon that is next to moon which one appears very bright in the sky is again venus so venus significance is it has got no natural satellite similar to mercury and its rotation is clockwise so you have to remember uv okay uv uranus and venus and it is named after the roman goddess of love and beauty okay next one 
which is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest planet in the solar system. So, here comes our earth, the uh, third planet from the sun and fifth largest planet in the solar system is earth. Next one, blue planet we all know or the watery planet because of its three fourth of uh, it is covered by water, it is nothing other than our earth. Next one, the only planet in the solar system that is not named after any Roman or Greek deity is earth ok. So, it has not been derived from any of this Roman or Greek words or any diet ok. Next, the only known planet to support life obviously it is earth. Next is we have got two diameters of the earth to learn one is polar diameter that is the diameter connecting the poles representing the poles next one is equatorial diameter. The polar diameter of the earth is I will tell you uh, remember in numbers like this 12, 7, 14 kilometer that is 12, 7 followed by mul uh, 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 multiple or product of 7 that is 7 to 14 we have. So, 12, 7, 14 kilometer is polar diameter. Next one is equatorial diameter of the earth that is 12, 7, 56, 7, 8 of 56 we have. If you repeat twice again it would be easy for you to remember 12, 7, 14 kilometer polar diameter of the year and also polar you have 4 the last number being 4 12, 7, 14 kilometers and equatorial diameter is 12, 7, 56 kilometer. Next one what is the speed at which earth revolves around the sun answer is 30 kilometers per hour very important next one which is the only natural satellite of earth we all know it is moon next one what is the distance between the sun and the earth about 150 million kilometers 150 million kilometers if you notice that 15 has got some significance here and there in, uh, while reading and studying the years so recall that connect that and study next one which is called as a living planet earth so with this i am completing half of this units important question and answers. So, uh, the remaining question and answers uh, for the remaining topics in the lesson will be followed in the upcoming video. If you really like and find this uh, video helpful, please do subscribe, like and give your valuable comments and suggestions and also share this with your friends and fellow aspirants. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.